Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, state design pattern implementation. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, state design pattern introduction, state design pattern real time example, and uh, state design pattern cast diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, now we will see the scenario where we can use uh, state design pattern. Uh, vending machine is a very good example of uh, state design pattern. Uh, suppose say you want to get uh, one product from the vending machine say you want to get uh, Pepsi from the vending machine then what you have to do is you have to select the product which is nothing but uh, Pepsi here and uh, then you have to uh, insert the money suppose say uh, Pepsi uh, uh, cost some 30 rupees means you have to insert uh, 30 rupees uh, in the vending machine and once you did that then uh, vending machine will uh, dispense the uh, Pepsi okay so this is how uh, vending machine works uh, suppose say a uh, vending machine uh, internal state is uh, money not inserted and uh, product not selected okay uh, then what and all uh, operation you can do in the vending machine is uh, you can select the product and insert the money but uh, uh, vending machine won't uh, dispense the uh, product until you uh, do the uh, money insertion and uh, select the product right uh, so once you uh, insert the money and uh, selected the product uh, then the state will change to uh, money inserted and uh, product selected so in this case what vending machine will do is it will uh, uh, dispense the product and it will also give uh, balance amount if balance amount is uh, there okay so this is how uh, uh, vending machine works and uh, based on the internal state uh, the behavior of the vending machine is uh, different right so this is the best example of uh, state design pattern uh, this is a class diagram of the scenario which we have uh, just discussed uh, here you can see a uh, vending machine state it is an interface uh, it has uh, two abstract methods the first method is uh, select product and uh, insert money and you have to pass uh, money and the product name and the second method is uh, dispense product and this interface is implemented by uh, three concrete classes uh, the first one is uh, has money state the second one is no money state and the third one is vending machine uh, basically the vending machine has uh, two states uh, one is uh, no money state another one is has money state so in no money state what you can do is you can select the product and insert the money uh, but it won't uh, dispense the product so you here uh, we have uh, two methods select product and uh, insert money and uh, dispense product so basically uh, this uh, two methods are uh, overridden method uh, because uh, no money state is implements vending machine state interface uh, like that uh, has money state uh, uh, vending machine can uh, dispense the product uh, but uh, we can't insert the money and select the product because uh, in hash money state already uh, the vending machine is processing uh, some product right so we can't insert the money and select the product okay so here also you can see uh, two methods uh, which is overridden method and uh, next one is uh, vending machine uh, this is the main class and uh, this vending machine object uh, which maintains the states okay so initially it will be a no money state once you select the product and uh, insert the money the state will be moved to uh, has money state okay so here you can see uh, internally it maintains a uh, vending machine state uh, the machine state can be has money state or uh, no money state and uh, it overridden uh, select product and insert money method and also it overridden dispense uh, product method and the next class is uh, client it has main method and uh, this class is used to uh, explain this uh, state design pattern okay i will open eclipse and i will show you the code so that you will understand uh, this one very clearly uh, i have opened eclipse uh, now we will see the code uh, here you can see the interface uh, vending machine state uh, it has uh, two abstract methods uh, the first one is select product and insert money and the second one is uh, dispense product and basically vending machine has uh, two states the first one is uh, no money state and the second one is has money state 
first we will see the no money state uh, class so this class is the concrete class which implements uh, vending machine state and uh, provide implementation of uh, select product and insert money and uh, dispense product so in no money state uh, we can't uh, dispense the product because uh, product is not selected and the money is not inserted only thing you can do is you can uh, select the product and uh, insert the money so here you can see uh, amount has been inserted and uh, product has been selected but uh, dispense product is uh, not possible so i have just put the system dot out dot printer okay and uh, has money state uh, it is also concrete class which implements uh, vending machine state and uh, provide implementation of uh, select product and insert money and uh, dispense product okay so in as money state uh, uh, the uh, vending machine can uh, dispense the product but uh, we can't uh, select the product and insert the money because already product is selected and uh, uh, money is inserted uh, by somebody so it is in uh, uh, process of uh, dispense of product so in that time we can't uh, insert the money and uh, uh, select the product okay and uh, next class is uh, vending machine uh, which is uh, concrete class uh, it implements uh, vending machine state so this vending machine will uh, maintain uh, uh, state internally so we have vending machine state and it has uh, getter and setter method and initially vending machine will be in uh, no money state okay and uh, vending machine implements uh, vending machine state so it provides implementation of uh, select product and insert money and uh, dispense product so select product and uh, insert money what it will do is uh, it will call uh, vending machine state uh, select product and insert money so vending machine state can be no money state or has money state okay and once uh, product is selected and money is inserted vending machine internal state will be moved to has money state so that is what we are doing here and uh, dispense product uh, so here what we are doing is uh, uh, we are uh, dispensing the product uh, using the vending machine state and vending machine state can be uh, has money state or uh, no money state so once uh, product is uh, dispensed from the vending machine the state will be moved from uh, has money state to no money state so that is what we are doing here okay uh, next class is client and it has uh, main method and uh, here what i am doing is i am creating the vending machine object initially vending machine uh, state will be uh, no money state uh, in no money state i am performing uh, uh, operation like uh, dispense product select product and insert money uh, so once you select the product and insert the money uh, the vending machine state will be moved to uh, has money state then uh, in has money state uh, i am performing select product and insert the money and uh, dispense product so you will see uh, what is the output of uh, this one so that you will understand this one okay uh, so i will run this code so initially uh, the vending machine state will be no money state so in no money state uh, vending machine cannot uh, dispense a product right so that is what uh, printed here and uh, you can uh, select the product and uh, insert the money so uh, the product pepsi is selected and 100 rupees is inserted in the vending machine so once you select the product and insert the money uh, the vending machine internal state uh, will be moved to has money state okay so current state of vending machine is has money state so in has money state uh, you can't select the product and insert the money because uh, it is processing right so already vending machine has money and product selected so wait till uh, it finish the current uh, dispensing process so only operation vending machine can do is so it can dispense the product so once uh, product is dispensed uh, the vending machine internal state will be moved from uh, has money state to no money state okay then uh, the internal uh, state of uh, vending machine will be in uh, no money state okay so this way uh, the vending machine uh, internal state will be moved from one state to another state okay uh, so based on the state uh, of the vending machine uh, the behavior of the vending machine will be uh, different 
so we have seen that right so this is the best example of uh, uh, state design pattern uh, I hope uh, you understand uh, state design pattern implementation very clearly and uh, I have put together all this uh, sample code in my blog called uh, ROMJTE so you can just visit this uh, site and uh, get this uh, sample codes and uh, this is about uh, state design pattern implementation and thanks for watching bye